Hi, it's Francisco Ziot, Senior Developer Advocate at Ivan. If you have an Apache Kafka topic which contains messages in JSON format, sometimes you will find problems where, for example, you need to sync them using Kafka Connect because some of the connector require a schema to be attached with every message. So therefore, it's important, maybe in some use cases, to translate those messages from JSON to Avro. In this video, we will check how to do so using Ivan for Apache Flink. So let's start. As we can see in the console, we have a, both a Flink and a Kafka instance up and running. Let's start by browsing the Kafka instance though. What we need to do here is we, we need to have both the Apache Kafka REST APIs and the schema registry up and running. So we can just enable both of them. Schema registry and REST APIs are both provided by Carapace, an open source tool that is driven by Ivan, and allow us to both store schemas and retrieve schemas, as well as query Apache Kafka using REST APIs. So let's navigate to the topics. Since we have the REST API up and running, we can check that we have a CPU starts topic. And if we browse, we can check the topic message. If we fetch the messages in the topic, we can see that uh, the messages are containing both the key containing the hostname and the value containing hostname, CPU, user, gender, query that in JSON format. What we want is, as we said before, take this JSON format and translate it to Avro. So what we can do here is go back to the topics, create a new topic called CPU starts Avro, that will be our landing topic. So let's add the target topic. And now we can create the pipeline in Flink that will do the transformation for us. Now let's go to the Flink service. The first thing that we need to do is to integrate Kafka and Flink. If all this integration and terminology is new to you, check the link in the video description to the first video of Ivan for Apache Flink, where we describe all this new terminology into our new amazing experience. Let's start by integrating our Kafka where the data resides with the Flink engine. We select Kafka demo and we click on integrate. Now that the two tools are integrated, we can go to the application, create a new application, call it, for example, JSON to Avro, and create the application and create the first version. Now what we need to do is to map the source topic in JSON format, map the target topic that will be in Avro format, and write the transformation SQL that will take the data from the source topic into the target topic. So let's start by adding the first source table. We define Kafka demo as our entry point where the data resides. And then we write the SQL statement to parse the data. So if we check the SQL, we define a table called CPU in containing the hostname, CPU, usage, and the query that, that we saw in the original Kafka topic. On top of it, we are changing, we are creating a new column called time LTZ, which is a Flink timestamp, and we are setting a watermark for 10 seconds in order to wait for the late arrival of events. Where this data resides, we use the Kafka connector. We leave blank for the properties bootstrap servers because this information will be fetched using the integration that we just defined with Ivan for Apache Kafka. We define the source value as JSON. And we are going to start parsing the topic from the beginning with the earliest offset parameter. We can run the interactive query in order to check if our definition matches the data that is in the topic. This will run, will start a Flink job and will start parsing the data. And we should see soon the data appearing in the bottom part of the screen. As we can see, we are parsing the hostname, the CPU, the usage, the that and also the new column time LTZ. So we can add the table. The next part is defining the target table on top of topic in Apache Kafka that will be in Avro format. So we can click on add your first sync table. We can again select the Kafka demo as integration. And this time we will have a little bit more complex table definition. Let's check it out. 
we will we are creating a table called CPU out with time LTZ, os name, CPU, and usage. We are using the connector Kafka, leaving blank bootstrap servers as before. The target topic is CPU stats Avro as we just created in Apache Kafka. Now we are using the very format Avro Confluent, so we are using the Avro data format, and we need to fill the schema registry URL and the user information. Where do we find this information? If we go back to the console in our Kafka demo instance, there is a service URI of the schema registry tab. If we copy this information, we can then paste it to the schema registry URL. And what we see here is that it's a URL containing the Kafka hostname and port for the REST API endpoint for the schema registry endpoint, together with the username and password. If we cut the username and password, we remove the at symbol, we can copy them in the user info, in the authentication part of our schema registry uh, information. We are doing the Avro change, the Avro manipulation for both the value and also for the key. So we need to copy the same endpoints, so the uh, schema registry URL, and also the username and password, also for the key. One last bit is how do we define the key? In this case, we don't want to only include the host name in the key, but we want to include multiple fields. So in the key fields part, we define host name, CPU, and time LTZ that will be the three components of our key. So let's add the target table. Finally, we need to define the transformation SQL. And the transformation SQL is quite straightforward because all we need to do is to insert into the CPU out target table the set of fields that we want from the CPU in. So time LTZ, host name, CPU, and usage. Check here, we are not telling anything about the conversion because the conversion will be defined when we define the source and the target. So now we can save and deploy later. And we can create a deployment, leaving all the parameters as default and clicking on deploy without a save point. This will start a Flink job. It will initialize the Flink job. And soon we should see that the job is in running state, as we see here. So the data pipeline in Flink, it's working. Let's check back in Kafka that we are receiving the results that we expect. So if we go back to services, Apache Kafka, let's head to the schemas tab where we see that we have two schemas, CPU stats Avro key, CPU stats Avro value. The prefix is CPU stats Avro, the topic name that we defined, and then we have a schema for the key containing exactly the three fields that we defined in the key part of our table definition in Flink. So hostname, CPU, and time LTZ. If we browse the value, we have the four fields that were in, my, in our main select statement. So we had time LTZ, hostname, CPU, and usage. So we have the two schemas in place. Now let's browse the topics. We have our CPU stats Avro. If we check the topic messages, we select Avro as data format and we fetch the messages. We should now see all the messages appearing in Avro format, as we can see here. We have the three fields that we define as key and we have the four fields that we define as value. So in the last few minutes, we saw how we can convert a topic in Kafka, which is in JSON format, into another topic, which is in Avro format. As we said initially, this can be really useful if we plan to use connectors, for example, to a um, database, which requires some sort of information about the schema of our messages. If you like what you saw today and you're curious about what the next video will be about, just hit on subscribe on the Ivan YouTube channel. I hope to see you soon. Bye from Francesco.